Hey, what's up guys? It's Ren from Team Arsenal, back with another video. Um, today we're covering Nick Nisters again. Um, this is our final video via DB before the release of the um, Light and Overdrive. So pretty excited for that. Um, after a lot of testing, this is still more so the build I'm going with. As you can see on the screen, it's like slight adjustments. Um, you see we have tactical talents in here instead of the upstart. Uh, we took out the pod desires. So we can play uh, one brew, one doyan, because we didn't need plethoras of it. Um, instead, we was actually able to put more hand traps in here. So we, uh, you see, we, we put the Panker Tops and uh, Triple Ash Blossom. Um, I didn't want to put any cards in here that rely on me having to have it in my first hand. Besides, you know, cards that I feel like Ash Blossom covers everything. Nibiru, it's it's game ending. Um, I just. Uh, I'm still a little shaky on it because I really want to go second with the deck. Uh, I feel like that's what it's, it's, it's going. It, that's when things are going its best, obviously. Um, but it also can go first with the me now adding the arrival in there instead of dark fluid. Um, after doing a playtesting against a uh, mirror match, I learned the hard way that a rival with 5,000 attack, a Nibiru, and an Ash Blossom are just devastating <laughs> for any deck that um, relies on combo, um, and it's very hard to get over. Um, cause when I tried to go into my own uh, dark dark fluid, it kind of was kind of productive because I needed to actually go full combo to get there, and he wasn't gonna let me do that, obviously. Um, but we also have in the side deck um, Silent Strikes and Silent Judgments because I was playing uh, Gamma for a little bit, but Gamma relies you not having any monsters in your front row, so it's basically like it started my combo. I can play a Gamma after that; it's dead, or if I draw it too late or later, later game is kind of useless. Whereas uh, Nibiru, Ash, and them are actually still viable. Um, and I'm also siding in the, obviously the Lantias and the um, Drone Lock Birds because they're devastating as well for uh, the meta nowadays. But we're gonna get into one of those DB duels for you guys, uh, starting right now. All right, so we're back. Um, first things first, as always, shout out to um, my opponent, Sandwich. Uh, it was an honor playing this guy, even though I made a crap ton of mistakes with the deck and stuff. Like I literally just, because I, as you can tell, um, <laughs> I, like I said, I don't be on DB much. And it's been a while since I actually started really getting into playtesting and stuff like that on actual DB with other cards other than ones I actually own at home. So bear with me on that. But uh, I ended up winning the dice roll. Let him go first, um, obviously. Uh, starting hands. You see here, uh, he's playing Fur Hires. Um, start off with the Time Space Trap Hole, um, Seal of Strategist Fur Hire, Book of Moon, uh, Philo, Philo, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing his names, and uh, Dinah. Which, to be honest, I'm not a Fur Hire player, but um, look, he has gas to me. <laughs> I'm not a Fur Hire player, but it looks like gas to me. And uh, you see me with the double sign at mining, which you hate to see it, but it's a starter. It's a Picari or a Chi-Chi's with still combo. Plus an extender and uh, Gachiri, Defender and um, Call by the Grave, and a Defender and Ash Blossom. Now, the thing is, though, I don't know um, if this is going to be too effective against him, but we'll just get into it. Start off with um, set two pass, apparently. Okay. Uh, pass turn to me. We draw the Chi-Chi, so that's full combo right there. Uh, start with the Chi-Chi. Use Chi-Chi effect. Grab Picari. Uh, follow that up with the linking into our Dark Infant. Dark Infant effect. Search for Island. And Cherry effect. Um, I do this because playing the whole entire day, I realized that if I just go full throttle, I, it leaves me more sensitive to Nibiru or hand traps or just getting completely stopped. So I decide to play a little differently now. I have to play this a couple times where it's like, if I have an extender and a way to start without possibly using my um, field spell and other ways to extend, I can basically 
try to play it through that. And then if it gets stopped, then cool, I have backup plays or, or, or something to, you know, recur later or recover later rather. So um, it's, that's why I didn't play the side net mining or drop down the Picari and the um, island off, off rip. Plus, if he's only showing two back row, I'm like, maybe I can try to push push for game through it. But you see me overlay into the uh, Splash Mage, not overlay into Splash Mage, Link into Splash Mage, and use Gachiri's effect to basically make make Splash Mage unaffected by opponent's card effects. But he had a response, apparently on Summon. Time Space, which um, you haven't seen this card in a while, it basically just shuffles back. Um, all monsters I special summoned on my side of the field, um, either to the hand or back to the extra deck, and he loses a thousand for each one, which that's fine because you're basically just board wiping me. So that's that's pretty cool. I think it was probably preemptive. He probably could have waited a little bit longer for something more more damaging, I guess. But that's fine because now we just use sign in mining, get rid of the other sign in mining to add another extender. So now we basically have Picari plus a addition, which is still still game. Um, so there's Island. Island effect to give out the Picari. Picari would then search for when I first met you or reborn. Yep. Then proceed to use addition, targeting Picari. Picari's at 22, but it doesn't really matter. Linking those two away for the Splash Mage again. Then when I first met you, to add the Doyon. Then use uh, Island, especially not the Doyon. That way we can get back a um, adding Nister for next turn for follow-up, or it's coming to worse. So we're gonna go ahead and add back the Chi Chi because we didn't special the Chi Chi off of the Nister like Island like I said in the previous video. Uh, make sure you always get the one that you normal summon back. So then we use Splash Mage Effect. Go ahead and get the Picari. Turn these two into um, Update Jammer. And then from there, we use the Doyon's Effect again to add back the uh, When I First Met You. So basically off of that play alone, it doesn't matter what happens out there, I can get in the beer or whatever the case may be, that's fine because we still have follow up for next turn. Because we still have the Ash, we still have the Call by the Grave, we still have the Chi Chi, and we have the When I First Met You. So it's basically back where we started. So, now we just link these two away for our transcode. So I'm back out the update jammer. Link those away for Axe Code, which has 53 attack and has four pops in grave. Um, the reason I did this, because I don't like going into battle phase with back row on the board. That makes me very uncomfortable. If I have a way to break board completely before I do so, that's great. Because I'm trying to end game as soon as possible. So I don't want to basically find myself in a situation where I can possibly lose off of just one card. So we use Exico Talker effect, pop his Book of Moon, which I feel like he should have probably used that. Even if he doesn't know what the deck does, he probably should probably use it on one of my monsters, like probably the uh, Doyon or the Picari before I went into the Update Jammer. But I mean, I guess you know you know what the deck does, so. And then I explain to him, like, I get to attack, so that's basically game. So now I'm moving on to game two. Um, I'm like, do Friars prefer to go first or second? I I think they prefer to go second. I, I'm not sure. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to show these hands off again. Uh, beat, uh, Cyclone, Danpa, Dopan. I don't know. Don't don't shoot me down for not knowing these cars' names, man. I'm sorry. Seal, <laughs> Helmer. Um, Dear for me, because you can special. They all got the effect. They special from hand, obviously. Yeah, we well, have a searcher now. So this definitely should be definitely should be playable. I think this last hand was playable too, personally. But what do I know? Now this time it gets worse for him because even if he sets that board, we have Mystic Mind plus the Nibiru. And then we have an extender in Doshin and Doyon is big. Doyon's, it's not a start. It's not necessarily a starter or an extender. It's more so like an engine requirement in a sense or recursion. Um, so you need to play it. But do you want to see your open hands? Probably not. But that's why we got the uh, when I first met you. So when I first met you, it was basically combo. Plus Doshin, that's definitely combo. So uh, anyway, pretty sure he's going first. Start off with the beat. Use Beats effect to special out the Helmer. Cool. 
search for Raphael. Raphael. I don't know these cars' names, man. <laughs> Helmer effect. Summon out our boy Seal. Use its effect. Draw it in permanence. That's pretty cool. But I personally think Infamous is that great right now because it doesn't necessarily get rid of the problem. That's basically my, my gripe with Infinite Permanence. I used to be one of the people who loved that card, but the problem it has now, it doesn't get rid of the problem. So if I'm going for it, I probably would prefer a Solemn Strike. Anyway, uh, we get out the Raphael, which I didn't realize to the last minute that, yeah, that's five summons. It's about to be five summons, but the Raphael negates. I, I totally forgot about that, but it's okay because it burns his um, materials. So anyway, moving on to our um, seal effect. Well, not seal. Yeah, seal effect. Chainly one Raphael, Chainly two seal, as you can see in the chat. In the grave, you see um, we have, well, not banished, but revealed our crackdown, infinite permanence, and rookie for hire. Uh, can he grab a crackdown? Oh, this is the right one. Hold it up. Oh, this is the right one. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Yep. So, I think you should grab a crackdown. Yeah, but yeah, you should probably grab a crackdown. Take the monster from me. You can worse come you can even wait until I go into Access Code Talker and just crack down in the way. But um I think he's about to go for a link three, but he thought better of it. So instead he goes for link two for his IP Mascarina. Set one. Probably probably gonna set all of those. Set two, set three, pass. Now before he uh end of main, I attempt the Nibiru, which Hindsight now, it's actually a good idea because now at least him with just basically his back row and his monsters on board. The thing is though, um, we have the Mystic Mind to deal with his monsters. His back row is mainly the problem. But I was like, you know what, let's try to play through it. And then if he, uh, the back row stops and he has fine, we just Mystic Mind past her. Um, Picari, Infinite Permanence, that's fine. So that's, that's where Infinite Permanence becomes a serious problem where it's like, you now you know, yeah, you probably should have um, Solemn Strike. So link that away for um, our dark infant attempt our infant effect. Infinite permanence. Now see, if you just had a strike for the um Picari, it just been past turn. It just been past turn. You can't do anything about that. Um yeah, I would have had a Mystic Mind, but he still would have had his cosmic, he had another infinite permanence. If he if he just had the strike, the strike would have removed the problem in general instead of be basically burning through two disruptions with just one card. Um so anyway, so that's fine. We're gonna use Dosha's effect. Special self out. Link those two away for Splash Mage. Um, he's thinking whether he should IP Masquerina on Summon, but he says nah, he'll let it sit. So we use Splash Mage to bring back out Picari. What I'm basically trying to do is trying to bait him into using his IP Masquerina so I can end up, you know, um, Infinite, not infinite permanence, and um, um, end up missing mining him regardless. So here comes the IP now because he doesn't want me, you know, link, uh, grabbing, tra grabbing transcodes, uh, material from graveyard to go into access code talker. But he he was trying to go into um, the goddess, not not uh, not the underworld goddess, not um, not not, not who was the underworld goddess, the level the link five one. Uh, I'll leave a picture up, up here. And he realized he didn't have it in his um, extra deck, so he decided to go into uh, Appaloosa instead. Which, unfortunately, doesn't do the same job. The God has probably been, been, probably been better, but then again, like I said, if he took the crackdown, instead of the infinite permanence, he probably would have already wrapped us up anyway. Well, not wrapped it up, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So I attempted to transcode, he negates Appaloosa, which is fine. Now the transcode just swings over. 
when first one get uh, when when I first met you, when I first met you, because people are really anal about you saying I AI. So reveal the fire phoenix, add a Chi Chi. So let's follow up for the next turn. We're on the battle phase, we go over the Appaloosa. He takes seven. Draws twin twisters for turn. You hate to see it because uh, it's not doing anything. Like I said, we has cosmic uh, face down, so that's basically the game from there. Yep. So since this one's so quick, we're gonna go ahead and just go into another um, replay for you guys. Okay, guys, this one should be a little bit better. Um, I think this one went to game three. Like I said, these were I think yesterday. So I'm just going through ones and see which ones were maybe more beneficial to you guys to see. Um, this one was more so when I made mistakes, I think, so, I think, because I, yeah, I think it was the one, because I remember playing against a guy who set two pass, and then he played for hires in, the, uh, in game two, and then before there was a guy I actually had a heart go against, so I think it was Luna, so shout out to Luna, uh, so we're going to get into, I think he, uh, won, won the RPS, so we'll see, yeah, he'll be going first. I think, yeah, I think it was Luna. I think he's playing, yeah, he thinks he's playing Cold Talkers. Um, so his starting hand is Backup Secretary, Great Extender, Lady Debug. Um, yeah, Lady Debug, still Lady Debug. Monster Reborn, Cyber's Gadget. So he has a lot of starters and um, Silent Strike. So he has basically two starters, if I'm not mistaken. No. And I don't really want to call Gadget a starter. I get ah, uh, I guess. Well, we will say two extenders and uh, Monster Reborn and Backup Secretary, a starter and a Lady Debug, a Defender and Strike, and I guess a Tweener with a Cyber's Gadget with the right setup. And now on my side we have Gachiri, double sign at mining. This happens a lot, so <laughs> but it's cool. We only need one. Uh, basically, either the sign of mining or they have, when, I, when I first met you, when I first met you, when I first met you, <laughs> our combo, and then we have Gamma, because this is when we was trying out the um, Gamma, and I just realized I just didn't like it. So anyway, we're going to start off. Um, start off with the Lady Debug, I have Response, obviously Gamma. Um, I know he was playing, but I feel like if I removed his normal summon, it might cause him to pass. Which basically just mean game for me. Uh, but he has the Monster Reborn, obviously. But, um, I can't really do much from there, because he got his, his debug, his starter got negated. Follows up with an extender, which is fine. Links away into, um... Splash Mage, so he can stand a little bit further, but I don't think he's gonna go very far. Splash brings back out the Lady Debug. Link those two away for uh, Heat Soul, which, man, when we get this card in the TCG, Ignis would be that much better, because this is way better than Fire Phoenix. I'd rather have this card in my deck, truth be told. I paid it, I'll pay the thousand draw card. That's totally fine by me. Um, yeah, great card. So, yeah, there's the Heat Soul. Heat Soul effect's gonna go ahead and pay a thousand draw card. Effect Veiler, that's pretty good. So we get Effect Veiler and Strike, so it's two disruptions. In phase, um, don't worry, I'm gonna banish these. I totally forgot. I was more concerned about clicking that uh, next turn button. So, yep, in standby, he's gonna draw a card again. That's fine. I guess Dig for Hand Trust, but you see, nah, unfortunately, you got double um, Cyber's Gadget. Hate to see it. So, main phase, Bakari effects. Now, I sh probably shouldn't have put it right this because if this was infinite and permanent, I basically just negated myself and um, this this zone, which I don't know why it matters, but I, I'm really anal about having my uh, cards lined up with my opponent's cards because infinite and permanent is a card. But you see, I get met with effect failure, which is fine because, um, like I said, with infinite and permanent, it doesn't remove the problem. So, Link that away into Dark Infant. Dark Infant will attempt this effect. Then there is a strike. See, now, personally, I think he should have striked first, personally. Um, but, I guess you want to save it for the big stuff. So now I'm just thinking, sign that mining. 
Go grab an addition. Then addition, targeting his heat soul. So his heat soul gets a thousand, but we don't really care about that part right now. We got Kacheri, Kacheri effect. Negate the addition, summon itself out, link those two away into, I believe, Splash Mage? Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be Splash Mage. <laughs> I misclicked and put uh, Update Jammer out there. It's supposed to be Splash Mage, guys. So, yep, then we will do when I first met you. When I first met you. When I first met you. I'm just reading the card. When I first met you. <laughs> Reveal Light Dragon. I should have revealed uh, Fire Phoenix to grab a Chi-Chi. I don't know why I did the card. I guess I just I lost, lost, lost sense of uh, what the heck I was doing there. So now we stuck with this Picari in hand, but Splash Mage is going to bring back the Picari in Graveyard. Go into Transcode, Transcode Effect, bring back the update. Link those way into, I keep saying update, into Splash. Um, and then that'll be Axical Talker. Now he scoops right here, I guess, because he it was he confused Splash Mage and Update Jammer, which I don't blame him because I did accidentally go into that first one. Um, but it wasn't game right there. It wasn't game. But in his defense, I did have a lot of follow up after that turn. Uh, So we're going to move on to game two. He's saying like, yeah, you took a little too long with your combos. Like, yeah, I'm still learning this deck. I'm still learning this deck. I'm sorry. So I figured he made me go first, which is fine. As you see, we start off with the um, the Ash, the Drone Lockbird. Um, unfor I'm going to say unfortunately, but we have the Picari, We have the Buru, which you don't really want to see that in your, your starting hand, but it's one of you'll get over it. Um, Idle Reborn is a great extender, so it doesn't hurt to have it in hand. And then on this side, we have the Micro Coder, Effect Veiler, Skullmeister, Ghost Bell, and Ash Blossom. So, um, playable, playable. Um, four hand traps and a card that can get you there. I think this can get you there, right? Yeah, I think this can get you there. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this can get you there. Like, I, I, I don't pay much attention to, to Cold Talkers, but I think this will get you there. But I know this will stop me, I know for sure. <laughs> so, yep, we're gonna go ahead and continue. Picari, attempt Picari effect. That gets made by Effect Veiler, that's fine. Link away into Dark Infant. Dark Infant effect. Met by Ash. Yep. Set Reborn pass. He draws the effect really for turn. Yikes. So let's start off by normally the Ghost Bill. Link that away for Almirage. Link that away. And the Micro Coder for Cold Talker. No, I, I might admit, was I wrong? It's sent from here. I got material for Kotar. You know, I won't sign it. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that, yeah. That gets in there. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, it gets in there. So micro holder effect. Met by Ash Blossom, unfortunately. Battle phase. Cold Talker over Infant for 800 damage. That's fine. Uh, EP. Reborn, Reborn brings back up Bakari. Bakari would then search for a spell, probably searching for our when I first met you. Because now on our turn, oh, I was about to say we're going to search for an island, but I guess we too good for that. Um, so we have island in hand. Basically, we, we back where we started. So maybe, maybe Meister and uh, Baylor can get him there. Yeah, because there's the uh, fake veil on the uh, dark amp, but it doesn't matter because we have island in hand. And basically just goes from there because we definitely have game. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell us what you think in the comments. 
And um, what are you guys looking forward to in Land Overdrive? Because a little announcement for you guys. Um, me and the team actually bought a case and we'll be displaying half of the case on the channel um, when we get our boxes on the day of release. So I think we'll be putting that up. If it comes out, I think on the June, in early June, like June 4th, June 5th or something like that, we'll probably have it up that following Tuesday. Yep, half case. So guys, make sure you check that out. Make sure you check this video out. Uh, well, if you want to check this video, you're checking it out now. Anyway, check out the rest of the channel. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hi guys, it's Bunny. Thank you guys for always supporting us and watching our videos. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And check out our other social media pages in the link down below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.